So, when I released my latest Arkham game video, I got a comment that said the new Arkham game will be revealed at E3 2018, with details on all the new side missions and villains that will be included in the game itself. Before I start the video, I just want to say that all these leaks are most definitely fake, and I have many points to back this up, but I just wanted to make a video to reassure everybody that saw my last video with the comment on it that it was definitely fake. So, let's get into the points. My first point is that the rumours don't make any sense. They say you'll be able to switch from character to character and that the core of elves will feature in the game, which fits with all the Batman Arkham Insurgency rumours. But, it also says that Deacon Blackfire and Azrael will be teaming up in the game. Now remember, Azrael was first introduced in Batman Arkham City and Deacon Blackfire was first introduced in Batman Arkham Knight and Insurgency is meant to be a prequel so it cannot work. My second point is also linked to Azrael. He cannot come back for another game as he has two possible endings in the end of Knight. Now, if Warner Brothers Montreal can make this work, we can have both possible endings lead into one story. Then Azrael can come back, but it is impossible. My third point is that the person who commented on my video isn't a reliable source, as he's actually a young kid. He said that he had a friend who was working on the game, but we can't exactly believe him as he's quite young. I'm sorry PNG boy, you may be telling the truth, and you could be. There's every possible way that you could be telling the truth, but we just don't know. Now my fourth point is a very small one, but a very useful one. You didn't specify which version of the rumour it is, Arkham Insurgency or Arkham Apocalypse. Even though Insurgency is confirmed to be fake, Apocalypse couldn't be fake. Apocalypse could be real, and I really hope it is. Is this a new game, a completely new game, that your rumours are based on, or is it adaptations of Apocalypse or Insurgency? You need to tell us if we want to believe you. Now my fifth point is that you only reveal what the side missions are. If we were going to get new rumours, then we would know if it was a Damian Wayne Batman, heck, even a Dick Grayson Batman or a Bruce Wayne Batman, we would know who the main villains were, and we don't get any points in this, so for now, these leaks are s turning out to be most definitely fake. My sixth and final point is that he commented on my video. I'm not a recognised YouTuber, I have 280 subscribers. You should have commented on someone like Slickmoff or Salvage's videos, as they are better recognised, but I totally understand if you just stumbled across my video and have never heard of people like Slickmoff or Kaboos XBL or Salvage's videos before. And I have nothing against this commenter. I have nothing against him at all. I have total respect for him. I just wanted to clear up all of these rumours in the long run so people do not get confused. So, in the long run, basically I'm saying that these leaks are probably most definitely fake, but they have every possible chance of becoming real and becoming a reality, which I would absolutely love to see. So I decided I'm going to do videos on Spider-Man PS4, as well as my Arkham game videos and my Rocksteady Studio new game rumour videos. I will continue to do these videos, but I want to do Spider-Man PS4, as it looks like one of the best superhero video games we could ever get. Obviously, excluding the Arkham games, as they're the best superhero games, or superhero video games we will ever get in our entire lifetimes. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!